If you're watching this, I'm dead.
You'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. 
He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. Alfred. What you'd expect. It took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. Here's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
Natalia. I thought you and your league would have packed your bags by now. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. You're the daughter of their leader. Burning his body would have pretty much guaranteed your place at the top. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the League, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. It doesn't make sense. Why would Raish kill Bruce if he was his successor? I agree. It was an irrational win. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down a subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. Why bother killing him, then? It's not like he would have been a threat to you. What was it really about? Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. I guess your time in Gotham has finally come to an end. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral was tasteful. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Leave Bruce out of this. This is between you and me. Now answer my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you aren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden. We're set. No, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs, what did you figure out? They all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is onto something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the Penguin. He's like everyone else in here. Except he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this.
That door's sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I'll get out of your hair after you answer some questions. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed? Huh, I should give Blackie more credit. Must have been lonely doing your time without your friends. Hmm, someone's done their homework. I want to know who busted them out and why. rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. That doesn't scare me. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the bat gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Hmm. No place like it, is there, Mr. Fox? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Just the important things. Sneaking up on your allies, for one. But not how he managed to be in five places at once. I feel like if I look away, everything turns to chaos. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen. Um, thank you? Don't thank me yet. The Metro and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now. No one's looking at Fox Tecker. As long as I got a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... These flowers are gorgeous. It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. With this, the sky really is the limit. Now you can thank me. Thank you so much, Mr. Fox. to try this baby out. How do I start? You're getting ahead of yourself. Before you can use the bird, you'll have to clear a path for it. Whatever I need to do. Lately, the GCPD's not content to have jackboots on the ground. They've launched a network of surveillance drones to patrol the skies. If they're looking for you when you try to get airborne... They won't hesitate to take me down. What do you recommend? A creative programmer could convince those drones to overlook certain targets. But for that to work... Death to the traitor. I'm dead to the trespasser. I am. This will be destroyed. Kill them! Revoid the court comes. He will dictate the point. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. 
The last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they play. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. He used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. 
Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the fountain of youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. if not famous member of Gotham's long-established Cobblepot family. We need to find that cryogel. And take down Freeze. And kill that scientist. Just to spite us. And then, he got away! He said it was Batman's fault. Bruce promised him a cure for his condition. And in return, he was just supposed to behave. But I guess with Bruce gone, he's back in the game. What have you got, Tim? Judging from the list of stolen items, I'd say he's looking to upgrade his exosuit. And that's just for starters. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Crime scene? Cool. But what about your photographic memory? Cold case. When I wasn't there, it helps to see it laid out. The detail is incredible. Commissioner Gordon? Detective Gordon, at the time. You made it look just like his statue. Now that we know about the court, I thought I might be able to close a few of his unsolved cases. Solid thinking. Oh, I'll help. <clears throat> I'm good. I'll let you know if I find anything. It's fine. Two heads are better than one. I'm sorry. I'd like to do this myself. Sure. Let me know if you need anything. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. 
Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So, what is a Talon, exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up, and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. Heroes! 
from my friendly associates on your way out. Dr. Q has left the building. If you see this video, it means we're all alive. A bit boring, really. <laughs> Don't worry, it ain't all bad. I got one last little surprise for you. Girls' night? I'm not the one who brought bombs, Harley. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Ra's is... was a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago. To root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly. Even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up. Bruce. Talia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And, without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. 
Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the league away from Gotham. I really miss it. Destroy Gotham without a fight? Destroy Gotham? Now we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You're not the first masked villain to try to sell me that line. The only one hiding behind the mask is you. Miss Gordon. Jacob. Kane? How? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. You're not protecting this city. You and your cult are using it as your personal playground. Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies, it's madness. You're not serving us. Unlike you, I don't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. I know you killed Langstrom, then his assistant. Is that what you call protection? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce fought for something bigger than himself. You just want power. He never would have allowed this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. Don't compare us, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She did marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. 
John Wycliffe, Isabella Haas, Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the league. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. No one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. The voice managed to escape during the fight. Then the league will keep attacking, regardless of the lateral damage. The court's not gonna let that slide. They'll fight back. How many people will have to die while they wage war in Gotham? Countless. The league will decimate the city. And the court is preparing something even more impressive. Which is? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. Anything else you'd like to share about Langstrom? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. Talents, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Hmm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up, just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related. They aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel 
is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war. It's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. I don't care what you have to do. Keep your barricade up. Rough night. Aren't they all? The faint sound of chaos is how you know you're in Gotham. There's still no sign of Harley. This is ridiculous. What do soccer moms and yoga dads need to ride for? Big sale on leggings, maybe? I'll see what I can find out. Be careful. I'll have to do a lot of paperwork if you die. This is gonna leave a mark. Long enough, Harley. <laughs> As if. This has been in the works since Blackgate. Welcome to my party! Huh. This doesn't look like a party. I'll let the complaints department know. But I think you're getting the hang of taking criminals off the street and stuff. Bam. I got dozens in holding and a triage nurse who hates me. 
I'm just gonna blame you, cool? The commissioner will buy it. Don't be a smartass. I'm gonna be dealing with this headache for weeks. You've got it under control. Oh, yeah. I got a full desk of open cases, it says. God damn it! <laughs> you tell anyone about this clown girl, I'll gag you! Something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised, extreme weather events in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliott Center. We need to get there now. fell in a turban when he last fought man. How is he still alive? I'm not sure. He was torn to shreds. And yet, here we are. Just getting blended like a smoothie wasn't enough for him. So, what did we learn about our new friend? Well, I've studied Clayface's DNA before, and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. The structure is constantly changing. It's, it's like it can't reassemble itself. We're talking damaged nucleotides, unstable phosphate groupings, and synthesis abnormalities. I mean, abnormal even for Clayface. This sample seems especially disorganized, like, like it's trying to be five things at once. Oh, maybe it's because these pieces of him on their own aren't enough for him to stabilize into a singular conscious entity. <clears throat> you guys are doing your nerd thing again. Sorry. Clayface might be in too many places at once, and he's having trouble being anything because of it. But the more that Clayface comes together, the stronger and smarter he gets. We definitely do not want that. Well, 
What if he's already conscious? I mean, we can't just leave him like this. Putting him back together could endanger the whole city. We can't take that chance. Either way, it doesn't do us any good if we don't know where he is. The reservoir is connected to the city's aqueduct system. He could be anywhere. There are probably still bits of him in the water, too. It's nice knowing you, Jason. <laughs> He'll be fine. Probably. I'll scan the city for the clay's unique signature. I'll let you all know if I find something. Yeah, have fun with that. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. you can make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. Did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. You're gonna help us take down Jacob King. We need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met at costume. Actually, we met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Lestrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. On facade, anti-aircraft guns, the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, me worth. I was kinda hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. While I flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan. Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. You're doing what Bruce did. Fumbling in the dark, thinking you know what's best for Gotham, but you're fighting the wrong battle. The League of Shadows are fanatics who will slaughter half the city to purify it. So your solution is to build an army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you did. But unlike you, they know their place. <laughs> Take your best shot. You 
get one. No thanks. You're not worth the effort. <laughs> I gave you a chance back at the orchard. But you failed me, like you failed Bruce. Like you failed to save your father. Gotham won't accept the court is real, let alone believe I'm the voice. Doesn't matter, as long as they believe you killed Langstrom. And what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. The judge couldn't make it, but the rest are waiting outside for you. My wife is still the commissioner. I'll be free before sunup. Conspiring with vigilantes to put me away. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Catherine! Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can Jacob! Jacob! Out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. You lied to us. You were in charge all this time. You've been planning to take over the League for years. Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. You can kill him yourself? And save us some trouble? I didn't need to. I'd tell you to leave. But somehow I don't think you're going to. The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. I can see monologuing runs in the family. 
Trust me, it's not that intimidating. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. You do so love being useful. I've done more for Gotham than you ever could. So you can go now. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Figures. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya is scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. Scans show your back is not injured. Bruised, but nothing more. Chaos in Gotham City tonight after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. I'm going back out there. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. When I was injured, everyone expected me to quit. But that was never gonna happen. Protecting people runs in my veins. It's what I do. No matter what alias I go by, that's who I am. That's who I'll always be. As long as there are people who need me. I'm certain you already know what must be done. There's a Lazarus pit somewhere in Gotham. Wherever it is, Talia and her league won't be far. Time to put an end to this. this time. 
left at Arkham. I've seen better work. Did you know, child? A Lazarus Pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus Pit can make a mind more malleable. More pliable to suggestion. Your army's pretty loyal. Why would you need to brainwash them? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. <laughs> Is that an offer? No thanks. <laughs> Like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I've finally solved that problem. Exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you? You're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright.
You never let me give up the look at you either. You're supposed to call me back, girl, remember? She said you were... we're all dead. You think we'd make it that easy? <clears throat> so stubborn. Jim was the same. I learned half of it from you. <laughs> dead. Now you're suffering the after effects of a Lazarus pit. Talia dropped you in multiple times. She's trying to mess with your mind. Dead. How long? Long enough for us to follow your last case. We found the Court of Owls. They do exist. Yeah. And your uncle Jacob was the leader. Jacob? Wise. You know what? We can finish this conversation no. later. By all means, let's finish it now. <laughs> I told you, and your father, to stay away from my family! Family? Is that what you call this? No thought for what we are to one another. Beloved, stay here. I've got this. I can... You want to find out how stubborn I am? Stay down.
something funny, Talia? You, Barbara Gordon. Your father would be so disappointed to see you miss such an obvious tale. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Al Ghul. Another voice? You guys just don't give up. Take heart! Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever! I will never let the court get a lather's pit! Go! Clear with the pain! Without me, 
Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. destroyed in the explosion. And with the pit gone, the Court of Owls has mostly disappeared. Without the promise of eternal life, they need to regroup. As for Talia, she's left Gotham entirely. I assume she's planning her next move. She left behind a token force of League assassins. I can't tell whether she's keeping an eye on us or keeping us busy. Probably both. We found what was left of the Batwing. He's really gone. Gotham City needs me. The court will try to pretend this never happened. They need to know that I'm still watching. Exposing Jacob Kane was only the beginning. The Court of Owls is leading a war against the citizens of Gotham City, and it hasn't ended. But their days of lurking in every shadow are over. Because I will find them. And I will drag them into the light. People of Gotham. You deserve to live your lives free of fear. And I promise you, I will fight to make that happen.
Thank you.